Another summer has come to an end, Paul. Sad for some people. Not for us, though, because it means autumn is just around the corner and we have a whole new raft of episodes to come between now and the end of November. Isn't that right, Paul? It certainly is, and it is all planned out for you to enjoy. Yeah, we have an extensive list. Everything's been filmed apart from maybe three episodes which we have to, to work on. But there is a lot of stuff coming up and not only will we be back in the kitchen for a few cooking episodes and I think we might be doing more of those in the new year because oh, I've noticed cool. that we haven't really done a lot recently. No, I think that there's been so much other things that we've been preoccupied with. So I think that we have taken a while to get back into the cooking. Yes. We've been doing a lot of traveling and we hope that you have enjoyed our series from Marseille and from Ljubljana that we screened over the summer. But we did save some episodes, didn't we, Paul? We have some from Sweden. I think that we went to Helsing or... Helsingborg, yes. Helsingborg, and not org. that is a really interesting... Was it a town or a city? I think it was more... I think, of a, it, was a, it, was I a, think a, it was a city. Well, very small city. We took the train up from Malmo yeah. and, it and was it's an intercity. Yeah, it's the closest point to Denmark. Denmark. Yes, there was a ferry that you could take across. We didn't have time to do it because we only had one day there. Have you just spotted what I've spotted? I think, I think that's a whale. Oh, it's a whale. Yeah. Do you, you're right. Do you know what I thought it was? I thought it was a rabbit. Because look, I thought those were the ears and that was the body. No, you're right, it is a whale. We're having a whale of a time in Helsingborg. Oh, that is incredible. And look, it's even got the eye. We've also got a bonus episode from Ljubljana where we'll be giving you top tips of what to do if you're planning to visit the capital of Slovenia. And also, um, from our trip to Sweden when we went to Eurovision, we've saved an episode from Malmo itself and other parts of the city, including the uh, Trianglen so, area. So I think that that was like a pretty interesting area because it was within the city, but it wasn't actually in the city, if that makes sense. It was like a, in a Slightly area. out, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it had a, its own sort of set of shops and everything. Um, we also went to Lund, and that is like a self-contained episode as a town, or is it a town, or a city again? I don't know, a town maybe. <laughs> but it was only about 10 minutes away from Malmo, 15 I minutes think, perhaps? I, I, I think it's a town. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like the outskirts of Malmo. Yeah, but it's a self-contained place and a self-contained episode, so we've saved those. A bit closer to home, during the summer we went to Belfast and you were let loose on the city on your own isn't that right yes Paul? so i discovered um different areas of belfast because normally marcus does oh okay this is what we're gonna do so so then i don't really know belfast but i think that i have a better understanding of it and mm. a, a better appreciation for it and i did discover some interesting areas and um I hope that you guys will find it very useful and I hope it inspires you to visit Belfast as well. So we have a really interesting looking urban outfitters right here. <laughs> I don't think I recognize this design. I think there was like an extra trying to get into my video, but whatever. I feel like I'm going around in circles, to be honest. Okay, so I think I have come across Victoria Square now. So we have Victoria Square, there's lots of eating places and lots of eating places and some shopping stuff as well. So I think let's see what this place has to offer. Now of course to get to all these places you usually have to fly. 
And we have some very special episodes from our flights and also some of the lounges. Now, one of the flights that you <laughs> took earlier this year, you got bumped up two cabins to business class. So yes, I think I originally booked economy and then they moved me two cabins from premium economy to business class and I did not expect it. And then I was really taken aback because I was never given 11D before. And then I was like, I'm sorry, what did you say? So this was on a flight from New York JFK to London Heathrow. Mm. Now you, you were bumped up two classes, so you were actually booked into economy, but you skipped premium economy and went straight to business class. So I believe that they were oversubscribed and overbooked, which is why yeah. I think that they go according to um, status. And I did have the status at the time. And solo passengers, I think also stand a better chance uh, of getting moved up. So that's probably what it is. Now, I'm just looking down the list of some of the episodes and I see Ted Lasso. Oh, so this is when we went to Richmond because that is where Ted Lasso is based. And, and they went particularly around Richmond Greens and also the pub and also um, they went along the river canal. Right, the yeah. river. It's the Thames, my dear, that runs. The River Thames, yes, yes that of runs course. Through so Richmond. we did enjoy filming those as well. And I think any Ted Lasso fan will find it very familiar and might appreciate all the effort that we did put into it. So it was pretty good to film at the time. This is the street that is featured heavily outside Ted Lasso's flat. I remember the street and I remember the phone boxes in the background. Oh, have you actually found them, Paul? Yeah, I think we found a carbon cutout. Oh, right, a cardboard cutout. Did you say carbon? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. Do you think this is the actual house then? Or is it just someone cashing in on it? I think someone cashing in. No, so I think it was like around here because it was between 9 and 11. Now, if you are traveling to Richmond, you're probably going to take the Tube. And we have some more on the Tube episodes, including one, I had this idea many months ago, and sometimes I have these, usually these ideas spring to mind. It's, Zany, wacky Yeah, ones. at half past two in the morning, because that's usually when oh, I go to bed. Asleep. So he's asleep, I go to bed at half two, and then I can't sleep, and I'm dreaming up, not dreaming, because I'm not asleep, but th <laughs> thinking up ideas for episodes. But it's not, I'm, trying to actually think of them they just the ideas come to Spring mind up. so the a to z of the tube is one which ah. i came up with oh, wow. and then i had to come up with um 26 um things to do with the tube beginning with each letter a uh, to z yeah died. it is 26 <laughs> 20, yeah 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 <laughs> 26 mm -hmm. yeah um so it was a bit of a mishmash of stuff so some of the things were filmed in a better quality um, camera. Out of sequence. Uh, and all out of sequence, yeah. The thing is, when I'm out and about, I don't take my good iPhone out with me that I do my filming on, but I, I carry, old one. I've got an old one, which I, I keep 6. handy. Yes, yeah, it's an old iPhone 6 that you used to have, but it's handy just to have in case um, something springs to mind. Or maybe some, Yeah, if I'm doing a diary item for the, uh, the health episode, if something sort of comes up. Um, so it's always useful just to have that. So that's why when you watch that particular episode... Might be the, different quality. Yeah, the quality might jump a bit. But we've also been out and about going to other places on the Tube. We've been to Walthamstow and also to Totteridge and Whetstone, if I'd pronounced that correctly. And so it's the reason I picked going there is because I was looking at places to go on the Northern Line and then I was like, this place sounds a bit weird and 
this place sounds a bit posh so then I thought yeah we should go there and then and then we also went to I think High Barnet if I'm not mistaken oh yes yes we did didn't we we that's, did that's part of Totteridge and Whetstone is it not yeah it is oh, on the same line. on the same line and then yeah. we went to High Barnet after that that's right yes well, it's really nice to see that at Totteridge and Whetstone, or Wheatstone, Whetstone. how do you pronounce Whetstone Station? Whetstone? <laughs> Whetstone? Yeah. Well, it's not raining though, it's, so it's a dry no. stone today. So what I was trying to say that it's really nice to see that there is a waiting room. And oh. yes, Paul's going to explore. And also they have toilets. Paul has already used the facilities here today. So this is what the waiting room looks like. There is two sets of um, chairs for you to sit on. It says that it is for priority seating. And then there's also an emergency push button and, and, and a button for further information. You like to give us updates on your latest fashion items that you've bought. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes, because I think that I got let loose and i think i did quite some damage on one of my credit cards which will remain nameless um yeah so we do have a fashion haul episode more than coming. one i think there's at least there's, i think two there's two least. coming up in the autumn and i think there's a, another couple filmed actually to go into the into the winter but we're not going to talk about next year just yet and as well as the fashion hauls, um, we, or the fashion episodes, we have got shopping hauls. Oh gosh. So we brought back lots of stuff some from stuff Sweden, from Belfast. France, and from Belfast, and we'll be bringing you highlights as well. In fact, there's also a whiskey review. I don't know where you got your whiskey. <laughs> I don't know either, because I probably drank it already. We've got tips and tricks coming up. We've got an episode called Why, and these are... <laughs> <laughs> this is where you know you sort of ask yourself why, why is do, why does this happen why does this happen why is such and such i'm not going to reveal any of the actual questions but we came up with a whole series of why things why questions and then we give you the answer to them all hmm. so that might be a bit uh different interesting oh i've just just noticed another travel one x on provence that was a really good day out that we had it was, it was really hot yeah it was about 30 degrees at least and it felt like 35 38 yeah x marks the spot ah jules this is the shop that you wanted to go into for some perfume and you have made a purchase at jules this is one that we did spot before when we went to the shopping center closer to our hotel, but I just forgot to get it that time. So now is the time to get it because I don't want to make an unnecessary trip back to that mall. So the guys in Jules were pretty um, nice. I think that they were the nicest salespeople that we've ever um, come across in the Marseille region. So we are very appreciative of that and they were very talkative and went to conversation and then they asked us where we were from i said united kingdom and then i said new york which is true um but yeah we were talking about how expensive things were and one of them the one that was serving us wanted to go to the u.s so then we were discussing that we also have a children's episode coming up as well and another one of our postcard episodes. The lounges. Yeah, and the lounges. And that sort of brings us up to the end of November. There's a few gaps. We've got our health episodes, which are coming up in a couple of weeks' time. We've got those to finish off with a few more diary items. And we've got a very special episode to film nearer the time in November. I can't tell you what it is yet, in case it doesn't come off. Um, I'm not going to reveal what's coming up next year, but we have tended to film things quite far in advance far. and i'm not sure that that is always the right idea it's just i'm kind of paranoid about not having stuff in the can cause... because because just in case we're not well or whatever and yeah we don't want to fall ill or get injured and then have no episodes it would be like oh my gosh what the heck are we gonna do yeah and we've also seen seen some other youtubers struggle. recently struggle um 
one guy who's got a massive number of um, subscribers, I'm not going to say who it is, but he had realised he hadn't got a video for the next day to upload and he had to do one hastily. I don't want to be in that Off situation, that position. Now we could do them because, you know, we can just film an episode one day and put it straight up. If we were, if we got to the point where we had run out, then we could still do it, but I, we, mm -hmm. we would have to be doing them on the day or the day before. But I think Marcus is really, really disciplined, so this will never happen. And that is why, if I look along disciplined through my people. list, do you know what the latest date or I the most no date idea. furthest in the future where I have an episode Next planned year. out? The 19th of July. Next, Next year. year. Now, I'm not saying every episode is planned. There are lots of gaps. But um, everything at the minute is virtually planned up to the 23rd of April next year. And then there's a gap. And then it starts from the 9th of July through till the 21st. Because there's certain things that we are doing in July next year that I know that we're, we're doing. And they have to go out at that mm -hmm. time. Again, I'm not going to reveal what it is because I don't want to give too much away. In fact, we've probably given too much away today. But there is going to be a lot more traveling involved and oh, yes. places that we have not been before and some places mm. that I think we have been, but I think... We need to revisit. So I think that that's in the pipeline for next year. And we haven't even talked about Christmas, but that is a whole other kettle of fish, <laughs> if you like. Yeah, uh, there's lots of stuff planned for Christmas as well. And of course, if you want to keep in up to date with everything that we're doing, there's only one thing to do. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes, for those of you that have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. For those of you that have liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, there is a link in the description. Now, I'm not going to say bye just yet because next week, before our new autumn series begins the following week and with a brand new title sequence, which you will see um, the week after next, but coming up from tomorrow, actually, it is our latest hotels week. Uh, we're not going to reveal where we're going, but we have three episodes coming out Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Our uploads during the summer, we move them to five in the afternoon because we thought that people might want to look at them a bit earlier. Um, but we're reverting to seven. Uh, in the evening now for Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And there might be the odd Sunday episode, for example. This is a Sunday one. Um, so there could be a few Sundays coming up and we might look at tweaking the schedule at some point next year. I don't know. Because some YouTubers, they don't upload on regular days. Some people do it every two days. Some people do it every three days. Some people, some people do it once a week. Some people do it once a week. Some people do it twice a week. Um, we've tended to keep it... Um, for the past year, I guess, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at seven, because there is an algorithm that tells you when most of the people who watch our stuff are on. And most of you seem to be on at around about that time. Um, but it would help to get more views and to get more likes and to get more comments, even if they're bad. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just delete them. <laughs> no, if they're nasty, we will. Don't leave nasty comments, please. Um, this is uh, on YouTube. It's supposed to be a very friendly forum. Uh, it's not a place for nastiness. So what we're saying is any interaction, whether it's like a like, a comment, constructive subscribe, criticism, yeah. it will help us along the algorithm to push our search yeah. up within the list. We were hoping to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It doesn't look as though that's going to happen. Our target never is... Never say never. Never say never, but the target is 500. Never say never. 500 is a big target. Magic number. To get on YouTube. That is the first sort of step towards getting more and it can grow from that point. And as we're filming this, we're only 17 subscribers away from that. So, so if 17 of you right now could just hit that subscribe button, it's completely free and it will help us so much and um, because at the minute we don't make any money off this we've we got a few people who bought us coffees thank you very much and that has helped a little bit but it was still less than 20 pounds that's all we've ever got back from this so at the minute it's all our own personal money that is being pumped into filming and it does cost money and equipment and in travel and in food and everything when we're out and about doing these but we do it, we're not doing it for the money but it is costing us to do this and it is it is a very costly business as most youtubers will tell you 
But anyway, I think we've gabbed on enough for today. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And we'll see you for Hotels Week tomorrow and all this week and throughout the autumn.